Also new tonight, genetic testing kits are wildly popular. Tens of millions were sold this past December alone. But as CBS 2's Dana Tyler shows us, these DNA tests can have a serious downside. At 46 and healthy, Carolyn Kutsoftis was surprised when she was denied life insurance. I expected that I would absolutely be able to get coverage. It was the result, she believes, of sitting down with a genetic counselor after finding out her mother tested positive for the breast cancer gene BRCA. I can't think of another reason why I would have been denied. Scientists say genetic testing can save lives by predicting the potential for disease, but increasingly, consumers are finding they're being denied for life insurance, long-term care, even disability insurance, based on these results. Most people don't think that if they get a genetic test, it can ever come back to bite them, but it can. Even if you're using an over-the-counter kit to simply find out more about your ethnicity, says Jamie Court with the advocacy group consumer watchdog. The real danger is you may find out that you have a marker for real serious illness. Because now insurance companies want to know about that. If you apply for life insurance, they do have a right to get all your medical records. And if you've had a genetic test uh, taken, they do have the right to request it. Current law protects against genetic discrimination when it comes to health insurance. Lisa Schlager with the nonprofit organization Force would like the law to also cover life insurance. It's a big challenge because the insurance industry wants to maintain its independence and its ability to determine um, risk based on their own formulas. Schlager does not advocate hiding the results of these tests because later you could be accused of fraud. Instead, she and others suggest applying for life insurance before having any genetic testing done. I understand where the insurers are coming from. But Kutsofti says it's time they understand where she's coming from. Individuals who know are more likely to do something about it and to manage it better than someone who really doesn't want to know. You would think that the, the premiums should reflect that. There are some insurance companies which will issue life insurance to those predisposed to certain diseases, but experts say those premiums tend to be higher. Dana Tyler.